Hey everyone, it's Kyle here with another video. So today's video will be a tutorial on how to make a Melbourne balance drop on FL Studio. Uh, you can use any version you want, really. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys do enjoy this video. I just want to real quick leave you guys a heads up. You are going to need a kickstart for this, so make sure you grab yourself a kickstart. Uh, you, your means of getting that are your means, not mine. Um, so <laughs> whether you pirate that or not, it's up to you. But anyways, you're going to need a kickstart for this. And yeah, so this is what we're going to be making right here. Uh, this is a full entire track. Uh, my friend's actually making a Spectrum right now, and that's going to be up hopefully tomorrow by the time this um, video comes out. So yeah, you can listen to the whole entire track there, but for right now, I'm just going to be focusing on the drop of the song, so this is what you guys are going to be making. <laughs> So anyways, everyone, that is going to be the track. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get right into it. So I want to tell you guys a little secret about Mora Bounce. If you've never heard any of this genre, I'm going to be telling you guys the basics. So <clears throat> we're going to start off with basically the drums and the bass. Uh, the reason why it's called Mora Bounce is it's an offbeat bass with a kick. Uh, we're going to ignore all of these. We're just going to have the kick here and the bass. So it's going to sound like this. This is basically every single Melbourne Bounce song on existence has this sort of rhythm. If it does not, then it's not really a Melbourne Bounce track. So as you can see, it's literally just a kick, a bass, a kick, a bass, and it repeats that. That's the whole entire drop, really. Drums. Very simple. Now, there's also a little bit more I want to show you guys. So if I undo these deleted clips, we have a little bit of other percussion as well. We have a um, Kushmir top loop, so it sounds like this. So that is very important as well because obviously you're going to need your claps and your basic hats and whatnot in your drop. If you don't have it, it's going to sound really boring. I know you technically could wing it with just the kick and the bass, but I highly recommend you guys have all of this. It'll sound a lot better. So this is your claps just to found a random loop. It doesn't matter. You're also going to need, obviously, your MIDI for your drop. So, okay. This is our pattern. Uh, I'm just going to break it down each synth. So we're going into unsorted. As you can see right here, these are our synths. We're going to go up to silent one. So we're just going to disable all of these. And here we go. This is the melody. So I already know what you guys are thinking. How in the world did you do these little slides here? Well, I'm going to tell you that right now. So when you have your silent open, make sure you have mono legato on and turn the obviously turn it on. <laughs> uh, make sure you have it on to normal and turn up your portamento to whatever you want. The higher it is, it's going to slide more, but that can go a little wonky. Sometimes it'll just slide all over the place and it makes absolutely no sense. You want to make sure that your slide is at the perfect uh, point for your drop. So that's just one sample, not sample, but synth. Uh, here's our second layer. By the way, I gotta um, tell you guys the presets. I found these in some pack, Decibel Sounds Drop Lead. Uh, a lot of these are from that pack. Um, so here's our next preset. As you can see, that's just a basic pluck. Nothing special there. These, obviously, there's nothing in there. Silent 8, this is uh, a WA lead called Mushroom. So here's what it sounds like. So now, on all of these, I actually don't have mono legato on. Only on certain instruments, the main leads have them, um, and some other ones do. But not every single instrument has that, and the reason why I did that is because I wanted it to be 
not entirely slidey because that way I have a little bit of variety in the sounds. It makes it blend a little better, which makes it sound nicer. For our second to last silent preset, we have a bass uh, lead. It's called WA Bass Raptor. So here's what it sounds like. <laughs> So as you can see, this one has a slight portamento. This one's actually turned on slide though. So, you know, that's a little bit interesting. And for our last silent lead, it is WA Lead Oil. So here's what that sounds like. So, you know, that's your classic super side kind of lead. And when we have all of our silent sounds put together, this is what it sounds like. You know, that is honestly a very good um, blending of synths. Nothing sounds out of place. Everything really flows, and it sounds very nice. You might be wondering what this 3X oscillator is. This is our sub bass. It is, I'm telling you guys right now, it's very, very unnoticeable. Like, it's very quiet, and the reason for that is I didn't want it mixing with the uh, offbeat bass too much. I just wanted a little bit in there so it would sound nice. So here's what it sounds like. So you can literally barely hear that. It's like super quiet. Like it's negative like 30 decibels, which is very quiet. So it's very unnoticeable, but it just adds a little bit of texture, a little bit of flavor in the drop. So that's basically it for the drop. Uh, we have your basic, you know, impacts, you know, the classic white noise and then this little effect thing I found. Uh, that's really it for the drop. Nothing too special there. Besides, this, actually, there's a little break here, but the breaks, I think you guys can do it your own. Just find some samples, slap that in there. You got a break. Oh, no, this is a ride. So I have a ride for the second part of the drop as well. Makes it nice, stands out a little bit, and, you know, it's really good for that. So you might be wondering what I did for the buildup. Honestly, guys, buildups, I mean, when I first started, buildups were hard for me because nothing really flowed. But you sometimes, it depends on the song, of course, but you can literally just take a your drop melody and just do this exactly what i did so i took it into that i split it more and then i took the like last half of the drop and put it there and that way you know i changed it up a little bit the percussion i use for the build up is just a clap and snare so it's just uh this see so, you now it pitches up and gets faster right here That's pretty much the build up. Uh, there's a little bit more percussion, which I'm going to tell you guys. Just some more claps there. Those don't really rise or anything. They're just there. Uh, we also have a little vocal, uh, vocal. Wow, that's a word. Vocal uplifter, which just sounds like this. It's also, um, <clears throat> yeah. So this is the part of the buildup that you're hearing right now, which is just this part right here. So that's the buildup, very simple. This is what it sounds like with the synths and everything. thing I added as well was a sub drop here you know just a sub drop that goes Pew! with the bass very nice also a uh, pride of snare at the end <laughs> you pretty much have that ha ha have to have that for everything I also have a love filter on the master I believe and I just literally just dragged around the frequency so it stopped low and it would go up till you know the very last part which would be full frequency for the drop um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it honestly Nothing really too special about that. These volume automations, they don't apply to this. And yeah, so let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do like the breakdown part, the intro of the song, anything like that if you guys are interested. And yeah, so thank you all for watching. My name is Kyle, and I will see you guys in the next video.